Many of us remember how the summer evenings of our childhood used to begin. They started with fireflies. We used to watch the countless glowing orbs trailing their colors through our yards and across the darkening sky. But these days their light is dimmed. Our gardens stand dark and empty. The term firefly has become synonymous with Joss Whedon's naughty sci-fi TV series of the same name. However, the show attributes its title to an order of beetle, otherwise known as Lampyridae. They are also known as lightning bugs because of their most distinguished feature. To be more specific, most fireflies have a glowing abdomen that makes them highly visible in the darkness. This incredible display is actually an example of bioluminescence or organically made light, created by chemical reactions. It also serves an important purpose for the beetle's lifestyle. When twilight falls, male fireflies use their glowing bodies to signal for potential mates in a variety of ways. The sender's lights reveal much about themselves to the female, who appraises their qualities. If they deem the pairing suitable, the female responds to the courtship with her own lights. The consequential breeding creates firefly larvae, sometimes called glowworms, which emit their own bioluminescence. The beetles prefer moist and tepid climates, so they're most commonly found in damp woodlands or marshes. Even after maturing, the glowworms don't stray far from their birthing ground. Although some lampy ridae subsist on nectar and pollen, a lot of them are hunters. These species actively prey on worms, snails, and even insects. Contrarily, fireflies themselves have few predators precisely due to their phosphorescence, a quality that you'd think would attract unwanted attention. However, the chemicals produced in the beetle's bodies are foul-tasting, if not outright poisonous. Indeed, it was once thought that their red, yellow, or green abdomen lights were warnings of potential threats. But there are still hungry creatures out there that are unfazed by a firefly's unappetizing taste. For example, Photurus, or the Femme Fatale Firefly, is a predatory lampy radi that hunts its own kind. The cunning killers answer male courtship signals, convincing the suitor that they've found a mate. The Femme Fatale then devours the love-struck beetle when it comes calling for his partner. Fireflies hold a rare place in people's perception as a welcome beetle and many look forward to their presence. Not only are they whimsical creatures, but they also mark the arrival of summer. Their hibernation period ends in spring and as the climate changes, the fireflies appear. Or at least that used to be the case. Their numbers have fallen dramatically in recent years, so people are seeing fewer and fewer of them. Some sources such as Firefly.org even speculate that they might become extinct in our children's lifetime. Firefly.org reports there are signs that our kids may not grow up with the same firefly memories that we had That's because fireflies are disappearing from marshes fields and forests all over the country and all over the world If it continues fireflies may fade forever leaving our summer nights a little darker and less magical The reason for their disappearance isn't exactly clear, but it's likely the result of several contributing issues Experts have identified multiple problems that could be causing the fall of the fireflies. The first one is a threat faced by many species of wildlife, loss of suitable habitat. As previously mentioned, fireflies don't have a wide-ranging habitat and usually remain in their birthplace. So when urbanization spreads, housing and roads claim their environment. The fireflies have nowhere to go or breed, leading to the end of their colony. Furthermore, it's not just the lack of nesting places that's the problem, it's also the subsequent noise. According to Firefly.org, areas that once flourished with fireflies have since suffered a decline in their numbers because of the presence of humans. The second factor that researchers claim is having an impact on fireflies is artificial light. For a species that relies on its own bioluminescent light to communicate, man-made light is a big problem. Car lights, street lights, and house lights all confuse fireflies and impact on their courtship. Firefly.org reports that pesticides might also be problematic in the Lampy Radai's environment. These poisons last longer in damp environments, which the beetles favor. Pest control chemicals could be responsible for killing local insects, thus reducing the firefly's food source. If you want to do your part to keep the firefly species alive, a good place to start is in your own backyard. Obviously, making it beetle-friendly involves making sure you keep any moist landscape features intact. Avoid pesticides as much as you can, too. It will both kill fireflies and their prey. Just in case your yard is attracting the kind of fireflies who flourish on nectar, plant plenty of flowers. In addition to helping lampy redye, it will also lure other species of concern like bees. Don't forget to throw in some bushes to provide daytime hiding places for the night-loving fireflies. Lastly, try to keep your lights on low 
and avoid unnatural light features in the designated firefly section of your yard and you won't be alone in your efforts to save fireflies there are others working to keep the species alive a good example is the Smoky Mountain National Forest in Tennessee the forest is home to many thousands of fireflies that take to the skies every summer it's an incredible sight that draws millions of visitors each year this breathtaking show put on by nature resembles a psychedelic combination of stars falling and fireworks exploding the park describes on its website it's an immersive experience that you'll never forget